So, once you get off of Skelkatraz, the prison part of the game, you're actually able to go back up into, Skelk into Skelkatraz. What I want to do is see what happens when you fly off the uh, the uppermost portion, like the highest point in Skelkatraz that you could find. I want to see what that I want to see what that's like before. But uh, here we go. Yeah, see? And here's where you can actually get some guillotines instead of having to, uh... That's the first reason to come back into the prison. Well, as far as I'm aware, it's the only reason. Unless you forgot to, uh... pick up the Book of Blueprints. Which I actually did, but solved that problem. So let's see. Oh, got a nice field full of. I don't think we can harvest these. Oh, we can! I'm stealing y'all cabbages. Okay, thanks. Bye. And so now, I know there's a skeleton up on the top of that cliff somewhere. See, mechanically, or game-wise, uh, <laughs> it still thinks I'm a normal prisoner and haven't escaped yet. You know, the, the programmers fully expect you to jump on the boat and not try to break back into the prison. Which is a reasonable assumption. Alright. So, yeah, there's that skeleton over there. And... Let's go down here. Get close to the edge. And now, let's build ourselves a launching platform. We're gonna, gonna try to fly down to the... Uh, southern part of the map and figure out what this is. Now, unfortunately, you can't put any markers on the map in this game, but... <clears throat> We're gonna have to skirt the island, because I think if I fly over top of the skeletons, they'll activate their security... whatever you want to call it. If I end up not being able to make it, or if I get close... Up. Oh, got a little water. Up. Oh, and here's the, uh... Ha! Look at that. This is the little scene in the game where you try to escape Isle of Awakening and you crash into the enemy's boat. Well, let's see what he has to say. Hey there! Well, he's awfully friendly for someone that, uh, took Captain Brownbeard hostage. That's funny, man. I guess there was something to find, even though there doesn't really amount to much. Alright. So, now let's fly straight north and see if we get back to the island, or... Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh my gosh, this is Hargon's fortress from the end of the game. We're at Hargon's palace. But this is, wait a minute, this looks like the demolished version of it. What the heck? Ah! What is that? <laughs> it's like nothingness. Wow, this is a... This is a trip right here. Every time I think there's nothing to find, there's something to find. Wow, okay, let's go down inside and see what we can find. Yeah. Yeah, it's Hargon's throne room, right here. 
Well, how about that? Thank you. I'll take that. Wow. You can actually get here. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Who knew? Man, now I really want to find out what else is out here. The programmers use this one screen for a bunch of different stuff, it seems like. What is this for? Was this like a test build? Because it's not... It doesn't... It's definitely not the full fortress of Hargon. I wanted to, uh... Share this, uh... Little adventure with you, I guess you'd say. And, uh, see if there actually was anything to find. And surprisingly, there was. One was actually on the map already, because we'd been there. And then this was a total surprise. So, uh... Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. That will do it for this chapter. Thank you for checking out my channel. If you like my content, please tell me in the comments below, or if you have any general feedback, I'd welcome that as well. Make sure you subscribe so that you're always up to date with all of my latest gaming adventures.